Hey guys, this is Santa Will 57. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I'm just bringing you along. I'm just, I, to be honest, my scrap pile has gotten insane. I'll just show you one. It's chock full, chock full. And I, I wish I could say that was the only one that I have, but I have one that has cardboard that is that full. And I have one that has painted on scraps that is also almost that full so um I, i've got to deal with that you know it's, it's just part of the game we do this and we want to save our scraps for you know that rainy day well it's friday the 13th i got a freaky day off on a friday because <laughs> my daughter you know babysit and um, my daughter ended up getting today off so randomly and so therefore i got today off randomly and so i thought i would just hop on here and bring you along as i make some tabs or whatever here's the deal um i'm not really good at making ephemera ahead of time and then using it i i, I don't know why it is it's is kind of weird for me that i prefer to make ephemera that goes with the journal that i'm working on as i'm working through it as we're, you know like we're doing the bird journal you see i do that and it's hard for me i had before last time i went through all my scraps i made up a whole bunch of really nice tags i mean these are there's nothing wrong with these tags however i never used them I don't know why. It's like, I don't know why. I really don't know why. Every time I look at them, I'm like, those are great. Why don't I use them? I don't know. And the same thing with journaling cards. I have journaling cards that I have already made up that I just have not used. So I've been looking on Pinterest to get some inspiration and I found, I love, and I've made these before, but I love these um, kind of scrappy tags where you just kind of, you know, like this, add some pieces together. I just think they're so cute. And so I've been working on these. I've been just kind of taking pieces of scraps out and, you know, doing stuff with them. As you can see, I've number cut, uh, die cut numbers out of some of them, made some tags like this. This one's one of my favorites. I don't even do purple very much, but I love this one. Isn't that great? The grunge. It makes me think of Halloween. So, and then this one. Oh, yeah, like that. So I'm just taking, and like this one's got perfectly writable space on it. So I'm hoping that since I've, you know, taken these to the next step, and then I made one of these, I love these. You know, I don't know that I would use one in my journal if I had it in there. Would I? I don't know, but I love them. That's so funny. So anyway, I'm going to try to take my scraps and embellish these tags that I've already made. As you can see, they have eyelets in them. I mean, I really took time to make good ones. I have some more that were just thin paper that um, just had hole reinforcement things on them. I may do some of those. We'll see how it goes. But for right now, I just want to play. I just want to play with these tags and take them to the next level and see if that helps inspire me to use them in my journals. Okay, so I want you to come along with me. I can already tell that I want this. I don't know. Is that going to be too matchy matchy? Mappy mappy? I don't know, but I like it already. So we're going to go with that so far. Okay, that's where we're going to start. And I've got these that I've already, uh, I don't have to put these on every one of them, but I like them, you know, and I also got some bigger ones that I might be able to use somewhere. I just die cut numbers into them. something I saw on Pinterest and I liked it. So I thought I'd do it. All right. And then I also have plenty of tea bags ready for my use if I choose to grunge them up. All right, let's see. And the horde of paper that I am. I, I like that. Let's, let's go with it. See, now the issue with this is that it already has a, and then it has this little pocket that I made in there. Isn't that cute? Why don't I use these? I don't know. Somebody tell me what's wrong with me. Because I don't know. I'm just going to tear a little bit of this, kind of collage on here, make something cute and inspiring. Cute and inspiring. That's the main thing. I've also been working on, um, let's see if I can find stuff. A lot of this kind of stuff, stamping on some of my scraps. I mean, whatever I can do to use it, right? That's kind of the point. So I'm gonna use some of these too, just to kind of, I like that blue, cause that's gonna match that blue. See how that works. All right, let's crunch. I'm trying to, you know, 
if, if you've been doing junk journaling for very long at all, most of us have come to the point where we're like, try not to overthink it. Just get something down, you know? It's beautiful. It's great. I love it. Don't overthink it. Just do it, right? <clears throat> I found this old vintage book that had thousands of old vintage pictures in it. Score! Right? <laughs> so yeah, I've got a camera for days that I could use. Stuff that I can just use. Oh, I love this picture. Isn't that the sweetest picture? Not for that today. I think they're all going to be too wide, though. Maybe that. Urgent. They're going on a trip. Maybe I need one with a car, because that's a map. That would make sense, right? Da, da, da. Let's see. Or a horse. Because, you know, back in the day, not everybody had cars. I know I've got some horse pictures. Ha. Look at that, those three little kids. How cute are they? Maybe too big for that. So yeah, I did hand cut every one of these pictures out. I did it in the evening, so I was babysitting my granddaughter. And she'd be playing or hanging out with me. Ooh, there's a car. Yeah, I like that one. I also got a old encyclopedia of butterflies. So I've cut some out already, but there's thousands. I'm probably not going to cut them all out at once. But I might. It's just, you know, kind of relaxing to sit there cutting. You guys get me. You know. trim this up aren't I no problem I'm gonna do it straight though <laughs> straight as possible anyway that. take a wee bit off the back like that I'm gonna go ahead and take some off the top too because there's a lot there's a lot of picture there that I really don't need yeah that's better is it square <laughs> junk journals who cares right well if you care then good for you I, I don't I just don't I like the grunge I like the grunge okay imagine that vintage photo on a vintage photo finally happened leave this. I'm not going to try to do much more to that. Urgent. Get to where you're going. Right? Okay. This is coming along already. So great. I don't have a problem with it. The hard thing with cutting out the <clears throat> all the pictures out of that book was that it's a book, so there's pictures on both sides. Hold on, I'm going to drink. And <clears throat> do I like that with that? Maybe. Okay, so here's my other box of painted on pieces. I don't know how you ended up in there. So, yeah. I think I like this with this because it's got blues and greens. Not you, but not you. Go back. Go back home. Bang. Just like that, we got something. See? This is a, again, a belly band pocket thing. You can hide the secret stuff in it if you want. All right, let's grunge this baby up.
I don't know why. I just felt like it. Yay. Look at me using up scrap paper. Isn't it beautiful? I need a hole punch. Where's my whole bunch stuck? There we go. Now, at this point, I could choose to do one of these, or I've got some of those. Hmm. For the top. I'm just going to do a... Hold on, let me get some. And this over. And this over. Sorry for shaking the table. It is what it is. Okay. Put those over in case I want some of those in a minute. Right now I think I'm just going to use a bulb clip though. I do think what I'm going to also do on these, I guess I probably could have went a little further down on that, but that's okay. It's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to use some Mod Podge on some of it to help grunge it up too, but I'll do that later. All at once. Let's keep going. All right, now we got this guy. He's pretty cute. He needs some color on him though. So let me find a scrap of something that isn't. Ooh, I like that. Not so much that. I could do pink. Do I ever use pink in my journals? Nope. No, we don't. I like that. I like that. Not too close to what it already is. Let's see. Oh, look at that perfectly good cutout. I don't know why it's in there. I changed my mind about something, didn't I? A decision was made on that day. Let's use that. Be green. I like green. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm feeling a butterfly on this one. Why? Because I can. Because I can do a butterfly. And I like them. So. Hmm. I don't like the straight edge on this one. Because that's kind of weird, right? Oh. I'm not going to do this one with layers. I mean, as far as... I might use this as a top of, of a layered tag. Does that make sense? I don't know. Just doing. It's just kind of fun sometimes, you know, just to get into your craft room. I've been really enjoying um, just coming in here without any kind of agenda and seeing what I come up with. And sometimes your brain just needs that. Step away from all the to do's. Just enjoy being in your room and what do I want? What color? He's kind of cool. He looks like a bee butterfly. <laughs> it's too big though. No. Nope. I know, I'm taking forever choosing a butterfly. This should not be this complicated. I think I am going to go with that green and pink one. I kind of like that color combo. I don't know why. But I do. And then maybe we'll put some kind of word. Since I've done all that beautiful stamping and cutting. 
Ooh, or a number. Since this one don't have one. what I like to do with these numbers. It kind of makes it different. All right, I'm going to... I could cut around this a little better, but as long as the white is dumbed down a little bit, it doesn't really bother me. going to show you how I just staple that on there but I'm not going to do that I like it like that so that is how it shall be just put a little bit of black ink around it to give it some definition on the page right here well let's just look and see what we got I got this little word called filed it's too matchy matchy with that however I do need to do some more stamping on different colored paper I think that would help a lot I also did these Isn't that cute I said I wasn't going to layer on top of this, but I lied. Didn't lie. Changed my mind. There's a difference, right? I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. A little bit. A little bit you can. Sorry. Okay. And black. Doing this right? Probably need to cut down that string, don't I? That's a little long. A little, little too long. Yeah. Still hanging all over my poor scissors. Now the question is: Will this be long enough to do what I need it to do? I don't know. Don't. Dumped it on. Accused it. <clears throat> we have flipped off. Cute, right? Why not? I like it. All right, but what else does it need? It needs something. I do apologize. I am an ice cruncher. I do it without even thinking. <clears throat> so if I get a drink and you hear me crunching ice, just ignore me. Just ignore me, ignore me. Do, 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 I really don't. I think some lace though. I think I'm going to need some lace to give it exactly what it needs. Dun, dun, dun.
Hello. Sorry, I keep coming down to the end of my table, don't I? Um, these are things that I made a long time ago. Again, using just using up scraps, and it you know it's some of that stuff that you make and you have good intentions, you know, to use it, but then you just don't. I don't. I don't know what our problem is. I think that's too matchy matchy though. It kind of just blends into the background, so I'm afraid they're not going to be used today either. What else do I got over here? This pile of lovingness stuff. So much stuff. I really do have a lot. No, I think I need something more of that color. So. I like it. Don't overthink it. I think I'm just going to staple it because I like the look of that. Stapled. Oh wait, is this a open up? I don't think so. Oh, it is. It's got a pocket, a side pocket. I could staple it on this side. Just let that side hang. Like that. Boop -a -doop. Good idea. Yeah, I do need, I want some lace though. Let me see what I can find. A little bit of lace or fabric of some kind. That's too light. Where I have the red. Hold on. I haven't left you. I'm just looking through my stash of materials. You know, stuff that we have that we never use. That's not true. I use it. I use it. There's that. Okay, let's see what we can do. Surely one of these will be fine. I don't particularly like that one. Oh wait, I lost a piece that I wanted. Funny how when you're going through your stuff and you're picking out a couple of choices, you know, your gut reaction is usually right. Not always. There have been times my gut reaction was wrong once I actually got it up there to see what I wanted, but a lot of the times it's right. So I'm just going to add this just like that. Just going to add a, another element to this. That's cute, right? And again, it's got this little pocket. You can hide a little something in there. Secret pocket. All right, so that's another one. Done. Okay, let's go on. Let's keep going. Keep going. Let's try one of these black and white ones. I huh? got several of those. All right, what would I want on black and white? Sorry if you hear my belly growling. I should go eat something. <laughs> Let's do something really fun. One. Ooh, I like that. That's fun. I'm not kidding. I've got a lot of fun stuff in here. There's another one. Ooh, that one's fun. That one's fun. I'm going with a pattern here, aren't I? Ooh, I like that. Do that. That. Okay, I could look all day. You know how that goes. Again, I'm going to decide to do something. What? I don't know.
the funny thing is, is as I was just bragging about my gut, my intuition. Yeah, let's go with that. I changed my mind. I don't think I like anything bright on this. I think I want to keep it neutral. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to get into... What does that look like on there? I don't hate that. That's a funnel cake. That makes me happy. Flannel cake, my bad. I don't know what a flannel cake is. There's flapjack though, and a flapper. Those both make me happy. Yes, indeed, they make me happy. Straightish. That's a word. It's straightish. Right? What else? What else? Um, let's do a bird on this one. Want to do a bird? Kind of a wild looking guy, and he? It's black and white. No, nah. That's my granddaughter is now saying when she says no, she don't say no anymore. She says nah. It's so funny. Or I could do a flower. A little bit of color to it. Flowers? Do I? Do I want that? thought since it has the word flapper on there I could find me a See, these girls are kind of getting into the flapper era aren't they mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aww, it's a pretty family the issue that I'm finding with these pictures though is most of their their landscape, not portrait. And that's great. They're they're great pictures, but they don't tend to fit very well on. However, if I found the right picture, what I could do, oh, oh look at her, just cut her out, and make her like a Tim Holtz girl. I am so sorry. This is taking me forever. So happens when you have too many choices. Oh, they are beautiful. So is she. I think I can do something with her. Okay. I like her. She's black and white. I like her. You know how people say there's not enough time in the day? There's also never enough room in a craft room, is there? I mean, I have an entire room. There's still never enough room in here. I feel bad for some of you that have to craft on a kitchen table, or I have been there. I've done that. It's not fun. trying to think where I kept all my stuff at when my kids were all home. I guess I just had piled in my bedroom somewhere. In my, probably in my closet. I have a big walk-in closet. So. See, she's pretty. Do we want a butterfly? Oh, I gotta add color, right? A little bit of something. Even if it's brown color.
Yeah, like that one. All right, I am going to fussy cut this one though. This one is, some of them as I was cutting them out, um, you know, you were sick of cutting, hands cramping. So I just kind of did a, more of a basic cutout. And I am leaving a little bit of white still. I'm not gonna, these butterflies wings have so much detail to them. And I'm not the best fussy cutter, as you will see. I've watched some of you girls do this and like, you make it look so easy. And my belly is just rumbling. I need to find me some food. I made a big old pot yesterday. On Thursdays, um, I do a family dinner where um, any of my kids that are available um, can come and eat, hang out. It's usually uh, right now my son and his wife and their little boy. And of course I usually have my granddaughter because I'm babysitting her. So sometimes my daughter, um, when she doesn't have to work on Thursdays, can come. And my other daughter is in Washington right now for a couple of weeks and then she'll be home for the month of November. We're excited about that because she's been in Alaska working. She spent a couple weeks in Washington and then she will be home. Like I said, oh, I got it on the wrong side, don't I? There it is. That's better. Glad I didn't glue anything. So anyway, last night for family dinner, I made a large pot of stew. It was the first stew of the season. And it was like perfect because it was nice and chilly yesterday. It was just perfect stew day, you know? I make a venison stew. It turned out really, really good. I am not much of a cook. I, I just... I don't have the patience for it, and I really don't like to do it, to be honest. Um, but I can make a mean pot of stew. That is one of the things that I can do. Mainly because it's, you know, basically just dump it in a crock pot. I do fry my meat a little bit, but nothing major. So it's pretty simple. I love crock pot cooking. That's that's my way to go, man. Dump it and leave it, you know. <laughs> Come back in a few hours and, wow, you've got food to eat. That's my kind of cooking. My husband is a much better cook than I am, and I am okay with that. I would much rather do the dishes later than to slave over a stove. I do bake some. I like to bake a little. And I have to be in the mood for that. It's not every day that I bake. But again, it's probably because of the same reason. You know, you can bake it, you can make it, mix it all up and throw it in the oven and leave it for a little while and then voila, you got food. I grew up in a house. Um, my aunt and uncle helped raise me. And they, my Aunt Abby, was a cook farm for most of my young childhood. And so everything was farm fresh. Everything. Everything was farm fresh. Down to the milk we drink, to the vegetables, to the meat, all of it. And so I like good food. I really enjoy it. But I also saw that her whole life was in the kitchen, which was fine. She enjoyed it. And I'm not bad mouthing her by any stretch of the imagination she was she is an amazing woman she's still alive and um just an amazing cook but i remember thinking as a kid i don't want to do this i don't want to do this forever i like it what do y'all think that's cute right and to be honest i don't think this needs really anything else this is another one that's a pocket right now i think i'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm not a really big lacy foo-foo kind of person, so when it comes to doing these with lace and all that, I, I really not. I really, really not. I'm more of a grunge. Grunge girl. What else do I got? I got tickets. Ew, airmail. Save time. Let's see what tickets I got that I might want to put on here. Something different. Is this one pocket? Yeah. Alright, so just attach that right there.
labels. And labels are always good. I like that. I like all of that. Colors are good. Oh, I meant to tell you guys, the last video that I did, I, I was talking about, uh, I made my own ephemera pouch. It didn't work out. So I will not be doing a tutorial on that. Uh, it worked, I mean, it worked okay. I just didn't like having to get into that. So, you know, I just went back to basic buckets. You know, they're stackable. I put the, you can see the words on the side. They're all right here next to me. That tends to be working much better for me. So, let's see what I want. Where's she going? I don't know. A little too matchy matchy. Too matchy. That, like I said, I do need to get some stamp stuff on different colors because they are very matchy right now. Do I like that? Do I not like that? Let's do something different. Volkswagen. I like me a good Volkswagen, friends. I was born in the 70s. I'm going to add some dimension to this, though. I'm going to find me some. This. I know I'm very close to the camera with this. I'm sorry. See what I'm doing. That's good. That's good. Larger paper's good. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's already too hard. That paper. Ooh, I like that. That's a good color. That's not horrible. I'm trying to find some more ledger paper. I know I've got some in here. Heavens. I've not used all the ledger paper scraps. See? See what I mean? There's some. Okay, let's try it. Let's see where we're at. Let's see. I realize I've gone silent. Sorry. <laughs> I was in my own little brain. Scary place there, my friend. Scary place. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this out. Attempt to. The fussy cutting a circle is like pff, funny. Follow the lines, Sandra. Just follow the lines. Did stamp some in green. I just think it's too, the colors are too matchy.
trying to find my green stampy. There's one received. It's too big though. I need something smaller. Received letter. I think it'll get bigger from there. Airmail. Or a number. What if I did? No. Nope. I know. Sorry, I got all excited. Sorry, shouting at you, didn't I? I know. I know what we can do. I got stamps. See? Pretty, pretty stamps. What color? Ooh. You see that? That's a possibility, right? I kind of like the contrast. Or we could go to Australia in our Volkswagen. Oh, that is Australia. <laughs> we are meant to be in Australia, apparently. Ooh, or Italy. Let's go to Italy. Yes, let's. I like that one. Yep, 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 yep. I had way too much fun with this one, didn't I? <laughs> so odd. All right, let's see if I can get it back to the way I just had it. Yes, I'm leaving the crinkly stuff on there. I like it. I like it. I like the crinkle. It's gotten lost under the pile, under the mass of mess. quiet again. I guess that means I'm getting tired. Probably because I need to eat. Hmm. The reasoning behind my head. This will be the last one. I'll go eat. I promise. Oh, I know what else I need to talk to you guys about. I have made it to 600 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Every one of you who, who subscribed to my channel. I hope you know how much I appreciate you. Seriously. I could not do it without you. Nor would I want to. Something like that, right? I think I had the this over further, but you know. At <laughs> this point, it is what it is. But yeah, 600 subscribers. 601 the last I saw. And so that means my husband has promised me for every 100 subscribers, I get to pick where we eat. I get a dinner. And it's funny because <clears throat> there's this little food truck in our town that we've yet to try and have been wanting to. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and so last night we were talking about me being at 600. So I said, I think I want to eat at that food truck. And of course, I woke up this morning and it's raining. So Kind of hard to eat at a food truck while it's raining. I need something there now, don't I? Stamp. I do need a stamp there. Hold on. And skinny like that so I guess I'm gonna have to find someplace else to eat tonight or this weekend at some point yay Now, hmm, now, hmm, I say. Got all of these now. Do I want to do that? Something bigger. Or even bigger. Go bigger. See 
Ooh. are kind of cool uh, considering that we're going to Italy in our I want to do that one behind I gotta put this one on there though got to it's quite the, the scrappy scrap I got going on there Maybe I should just put some book page of some sort. Because if you drove 4,000 miles at 60 miles an hour, how long would it take you to get there? I don't know how far Italy is. I'm sure you cannot drive there, but. Do I like that? I don't know. Cut that down a little bit more. Like that. Perhaps. I actually think this is plenty right here. Without this on the background. That just makes it pretty thick. But I may see what it looks like switched out. Okay. Back up and punt. There's no mistakes in journal making. Just happy little incidents. That's right, Bob Ross. I don't make mistakes. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm going to stamp something on this to make it a little bit more visual <clears throat> and cute. Something like this. Grunge is the name of the game. I'm also going to go ahead and add some vintage photo to the edges of this to really make it grumpy. Grumpy. I like that. Make it grumpy. <laughs> it's not grungy, it's grumpy. It's tired. It's lived its life. Leave it alone. Cha cha cha! All right, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going for it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just jacked up my two. That's the bad thing about um, cutting out the numbers like that. These little pieces are unpredictable, it's scary. I could glue them down. I thought I actually thought about using acetate, gluing down a piece of acetate behind there. Work. But I think once it's, you know, down on this, I think it's going to be okay. All of these layers kind of help protect it. That's my theory anyway. I do need something right there, don't I? Something. What? But what? Mm. How about just a number? This is the flight number. Yeah? Oh, no, we didn't. No, we're taking our Volkswagen. Well, we sent our Volkswagen. It'll meet us there. How about that? No, we don't have to fly. No, we don't have to drive the whole way. Because you can't. It's across the ocean. So, this could be the ship number. Do we like that? I think I need some more black. That's what I think.
Yeah. I think around this side. Yeah. And I'm going to staple it. Yeah. Because I want to. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. What else? Friends, does this need? Writing space there and pocket for hidden writing space. These are cute. I hope I use them. If I don't, I'll sell them. I'll put them on my Etsy. Because I know that some of you don't have that problem that I do. I don't know what it is. I love the stuff I make. It's not that I hate it. <clears throat> I, get, I don't know if I'm just, you know, I've already done that, been there kind of attitude. Let's do something new, maybe. Somebody psychoanalyze me. Tell me what's wrong. And a bulb clip. Or do I want to do a... Let's see if I got... Ooh, that one. Look at that. That's beautiful greens. Maybe I should bring out the blue or the brown, though. Like that. No, nope, look at that. It's like a compass. That, that one's it. We're taking a trip in a Volkswagen. An airplane. The 785. Out of Dallas. Yep. And we're going to Italy. Let's go. Let's just go. That's pretty cute, right? Layered tag. I really like them. Okay. My stomach is not relenting. It's insisting that I feed it. So, let's look at the ones we have done. Because we like to remember. I did, did clear up some of my scraps. <laughs> or made more. I don't know. I will make more of these offline while I'm but I brought you along for a few of them. So there's this girl. She looks kind of sad to me now. Lonely. I may have to work on her some more. Add something to her. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Will I, will I add something? I don't know. There's this one. Kind of makes me think of watermelon. Those colors. Right? It looks like a watermelon butterfly. I like that one. It's cute. Oh, this guy got all kinds of flipped over. Hey, brother, calm down. He's angry. I don't like being on this. I don't know why. I don't know why he's so cranky. All right, well, apparently I'm going to have to fix that. Not really sure what, what I did. <laughs> Does not want to come out. Okay. Try this again, shall we? All right, so there's that one. That one needs something. That was that was a boring tag. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see, boys and girls, this is what happens when you don't feed your brain. It goes dumb. Da dum dum dum. <clears throat> I was like, wow, that was one boring tag. What did I do? I just quit. Uh, Oh, okay. I do think I need to add something to this layer. I don't know what, but I'll figure something out. So that, it's funny how you think something's done and then you come back to me like, no, not really. Not really, it's not. <clears throat> so these two I still need to work on. This one I think is finished. It's good. This one I did off camera and I'm happy with it the way that it is. This one I did off camera. I love it. This one off camera and I love it. I want to show you all the grunge. It's just nothing but black and white. I love it. This one, lots of stuff, lots of layers. It's good. This one, I kind of like the simplicity of these. So I'm leaving that one, the colors of it. This one kind of makes me think you could journal in there and then hide it. So I left it blank. And then there's journaling on the back. This was just a little flippy. I love those. I, I don't know why. I'm like kind of obsessed with those. And then this one. This one's probably my favorite. It is. It's my favorite. That one and the purple one. These two are my favorites. All right. So anyway, that's what we did. We made a couple packs together. Used up a little bit of our scraps. Or my scraps. Not your scraps. Unless you did it with me. 
and uh, I'm going to come back and work on these two, and I'm going to keep on working on some more, because time to use up my scraps, right? In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this inspired you to use up some of your scraps. This was not a tutorial as such, due to the fact that there's nothing new under the sun, and you guys have seen these. I just brought you along, so uh, maybe later today, if I get the time, um, I may work in the bird journal. If not, it'll be Sunday, okay? So in the meantime, God bless. Thanks again. Bye.